So we are back here live on Facebook. We got booted out for some reason, but this is Steve Says episode number 85. We were just getting started talking about dominating your schedule for the year coming up, how this is the only video you're going to need to dominate your year and how to have a badass mindset going into to the year. Facebook, just we just got kicked out of Facebook for some reason, right? We started this video. Maybe Mark Zanderberg doesn't want you to know this stuff because they like to control the way you think. So who knows? Maybe Zanderberg cut this out. Anyway, fuck it. We're going to go full steam ahead. So starting off when we're talking about, about the year coming up, let's, let's first start with just today. Just today. Forget about the year. Let's just talk about today. Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to show up as today? What type of person do you want to be today? And then just pass it on to who do you want to be for the year? What type of person do you want to be for the year? We're going to break this down this entire year. We're going to break your entire year down in the next 15, 20 minutes. And it's going to blow your fucking mind when you realize what the, way, the, the approach that we're taking with this. So ask yourself that. Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be this year? What type of person do you want to be today? And I ask myself this stuff every freaking morning when I'm sitting there journaling in the morning, going through my daily reflections. And then I, I, I call it an action theme. What is your action theme going to be for the day, for today? And we know before we get into the whole yearly thing, we know there's Mondays, there's Motivation Monday. Fuck Motivation Monday. Like stop letting the clever little catchy phrases for the day and even for the year. And we're going to get into the whole holiday thing in a second. But stop letting these little catchy phrases and little fucking quotes on the internet got, think that that's motivating you and that's going to get shit done. Because guess what? That's not going to get shit done. You can have read all the motivational fucking quotes you want. You're going to get fuck all done if, if you don't go and take action and, and, and have that action theme of the day. And Motivation Monday is not an action theme of the day. You need to be thinking Mindset Monday. You need to be thinking fucking Muscle Building Monday. You need to be thinking Money Making Monday. Because I'm just thinking this because yesterday I saw all these different cool little fancy pictures that someone probably took more time to create that, that stupid fucking Motivation Monday picture than they are on making sales calls for the day or whatever the hell it is they need to do. So that's the first thing. So we're breaking this down from a day all the way to the month. It's going to adjust this one camera drop. You can see up my, see all those n- up the nostril hairs. So let, let's go and talk about holidays, right? When holidays come around, we just, we just pass the holidays, right? Christmas and the New Year's and all this other stuff. The holidays come around and this is everyone's excuse to go to sleep later than usual, sleep in in the morning, not get shit done, break all their rituals and morning routines they have. It's their excuse to, to, to fucking pour a bunch of shit down your, down your pie holster and, and, and an excuse to drink a bunch of drinks, get fucking wasted, be hungover, which causes you to miss a workout, which throws your whole week off. That's the way it goes. That's the way the holidays go. Bunch of excuses to make poor decisions. That's what holidays are. Because let me tell you something. The fat on your body. Yes, I said the fucking F word. Oh my God, I might have hurt your feelings, but that's just too damn bad. The fat on your body doesn't give a fuck when a holiday comes around. Your kids don't care that it's a holiday when you're sitting there getting trash and being stupid and showing them the wrong way to live. Let me tell you that. Life doesn't care. Your unborn fucking grandchildren that want you to have a tug of war with them on the beach fucking years from now do not give a shit that today is a holiday. If you have goals and you have workouts to get in and you have fucking money to make and you have shit to do and people to help and the impact to make, it doesn't matter if it's a fucking holiday. And we're going to break down all this entire year's worth of holidays here and tell you exactly how to approach this year every fucking day. Because we find so many excuses, so many damn holidays, right? Next thing you know, it's your neighbor's cousin's best friend's fucking goldfish's birthday, so let's go drink a bunch of fucking tequila. Oh my God, it's, it's fucking flag day. We got to go and celebrate because it's flag day. Oh, wait a minute. It's National Squirrel Day in fucking Guatemala. Let's go have some fucking beers. You'll find any excuse to, to break your discipline as, as if just because it's a holiday, it makes it okay. So let's start about breaking down your year. And we're going to jump around between different part, times of the year. It doesn't matter. And you're going to see why it doesn't matter. I don't need to go in chronological order of the holidays, but we're going to go in somewhat of an order. So let's talk about New Year's. 
New Year's, we make all our resolutions. I'm going to start working out. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to go for a run every day. I'm going to, whatever, whatever it is you're going to do, the New Year's. Why wouldn't you, and, and setting goals and timelines and specific goals you'll set, you're going to lose whatever amount of weight this year. You're going to work out whatever amount of times per day. You're going to read whatever amount of pages in your book. You're going to do whatever it is in your business that you need to do starting the new year. How fucking stupid is that, right? How fucking stupid is that? That let's say it was this middle of December. You say, all right, I'm going to start living healthy New Year's. I'm going to stop drinking New Year's because I know it's fucking poison. I'm going to start hanging out with my kids New Year's. I'm going to start working on my business a little more New Year's. How fucking stupid is that? New Year's resolutions. Fucking stupid. How about every morning you set some fucking New Year's resolutions for that day? New day resolutions every single day. Imagine how your life would change. If you had that same intensity and focus and, and motivation. Motivation's bullshit, by the way. Yes, every day should be a challenge. Pamela. Imagine if you did that every day. You, you made every day a, a, a new day revolution. Resolution, whatever the fuck it's called. And, and New Year's, right? Then, then it's New Year's Eve. Then, I, I, New Year's Eve. Because it's the night before the day that the calendar's gonna change. We need to fucking party. For now, we add Eves to shit. Christmas Eve, fucking Christmas Eve. I was doing some sales calls on Christmas Eve to get people in the project, the project right here, men's personal development program to help you unfuck yourselves, become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better man, an even better leader, make even more money. Some dude tells me on the phone, bro, you know it's New Year's Eve? You're calling me on New Year's Eve to tell me about this? Fuck yeah, I'm calling you on New Year's Eve or whatever, Christmas Eve. Fuck yeah, I'm calling you on Christmas Eve. And guess what? I had a, I had a fucking call on Christmas morning. A sales call. Someone that needed some help for the project. Had a fucking call on Christmas morning. Had a call late night New Year's Eve. Because the future you doesn't give a fuck that it's the the eve. The night before Christmas. The night before a day on the calendar. We just make an eve. Just throw an eve in front of everything. Oh, it's fucking Halloween Eve. Halloween Eve. Christmas Eve. All right, so let's talk about Christmas. You know when you're a little kid and, and you can't wait for Christmas, right? And you're sitting there on Christmas Eve, the night before, and you're thinking, I can't wait to go to sleep because I can't wait to wake up because it's Christmas. Think about that. Go back to being like a little kid, but make every fucking day Christmas. You want to know what we're doing in our house this year? And I, I'm fucking not joking. Or maybe I, just, I, I really came up with this whole show, this whole theme for today, when we were ready to take down the Christmas tree. And I said, you know what? Fuck that. We're keeping the Christmas tree up all year long. We're going to make every fucking day Christmas. We're not going to be excited just to wake up on Christmas. We're going to be excited to wake up every day. Every night before I go to sleep, I'll do my nighttime journaling, my reflection of the day, planning my the day coming up, planning my priorities and goals for the day coming up. And as I'm sitting there, I'm writing down and thinking about the day coming up. I start getting fucking excited. Start getting excited for fucking life. Say, you know what? I can't wait to go to sleep so I can wake up and attack the motherfucking day tomorrow. I can't wait for that to happen. It's like Christmas. Tomorrow's going to be Christmas. It's fucking Wednesday. Tomorrow's just another Wednesday. But when I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to be thinking, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow. It's fucking Christmas on a Wednesday. Have that mentality every day before you go to sleep. With some fire and purpose and, and strategy and structure and control. And planning. So you can't wait to get up for Christmas every day. Make every fucking day Christmas. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's the day we, you sit around and, and you get together with your family that you probably don't see most of the year. And you sit there and you go around the fucking room. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for this. Bloody fucking blah. How about this? Every morning when you wake up, you show fucking gratitude for everything you have. Be be thankful every fucking day. Send out your three gratitude text messages if that's what works for you. Write down what you're grateful for in your journal, which I do every fucking day. I also even started a list, a checklist on my phone, and I add three things to the list every day. Three things that I'm grateful for, things or people, places, things that I'm grateful for every day. How can you ever have a bad day? How can you ever not be grateful any fucking day? You wait for a a day for some fucking turkey to eat some turkey and mashed fucking potatoes. Yet another excuse to eat like a fucking pig. 
So I sit there and I have this, 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 pay, this checklist in my phone. It's just on the note app. Checklist that. And I add three things, minimum of three things every day. And this is going on for a while. So anytime I even think about having slightly an off thought in my head, a slightly negative thought, I could just pop open that app and just scroll through this list. And it just goes scrolling and scrolling and scrolling of what I'm fucking grateful for. The shit that's going right in your life. The shit that's good. And you can't have a bad day. Someone said to me, "You even you have bad days. I don't have bad days. Have fucking awesome days and fucking awesomer days. Fucking awesomer days. That's it. No matter how bad shit is or sideways shit or how fucked up the world is, how many scumbags I encounter that day. They're not going to drag me down. Make every day fucking Thanksgiving. Be grateful every day. Start a gratitude list. Send out gratitude text messages. Start a gratitude and write about your, what you're grateful for every day in your journal. Same goes for Mother's Day, fucking Father's Day. Some people probably don't talk to their mother and father, and that's fine. If you do, if you have a good relationship with your mother and father, make every day Mother's Day and Father's Day. Send them a message every day. To call them every day. Takes a couple seconds. Send a fucking text message every day. Mother's Day and Father's Day, we wait for one day a year to celebrate the mothers and celebrate the fathers. What a bunch of crock of shit that is. Think about that. How fucking stupid. And let's talk about business on the business side. Black Friday. Black Friday. Businesses, some businesses make like 30%, 40% of their, their annual revenue on Black Friday. One fucking day or one fucking weekend. Like if Black Friday didn't work out, they'd be out, would be out of business. They'd be done. They'd be shot. Because you know what? They're going so fucking hard. They're writing their best emails. They're, they're crafting emails. They are focused. They're lazy to be focused. It's Black Friday. We've got to have this big promotion this year. The Black Friday promotion. We've got to make a lot of money in, the, in these couple of days. We've got to do social media posts. We've got to write, set up some Facebook ads. We've got to do our marketing. We've got to market the fuck out of everything. We've got to send out an email every day. I've got to send out two, three emails a day. Reminders. We've got to reach out to our, our clients and sell them more. I've got to reach out to our previous Previous clients and, and get them to come back with these different offers, these different sales, these different, all these amazing products and services that we have to offer. We're going to go fucking overboard for Black Friday. How about this, dumbass? How about you make fucking Black Friday every fucking Friday? You attack with that same viciousness in your business and the approach to your marketing and your sales and your leadership and your lead generation the same fucking way. Make every Friday Black Friday. That's how you should be. You're, a, you're running a business. You're a manager. You're an entrepreneur. Your own business. And you're waiting for one fucking day a year to do the shit you should be doing every fucking week. I'm not going to say every day because marketing campaigns, you have to plan out the campaign for like the week. So make Black Friday every fucking Friday. How about, how about, you, expl- how about you explode your fucking finances and explode your business every fucking week? If you have that same mentality... And then after Black Friday, oh, I'm going to go take a break. A fucking break. How about you Black Friday that shit again? And then next week, Black Friday that shit again. That's the approach you need to have. Even little, little other holidays. George Washington's birthday. Martin Luther King. Columbus Day. Why aren't the... Appreciate that shit every day. Appreciate that shit every day. George Washington, this is like the country we live in. The freedom. The 4th of July. Celebrate your freedom every fucking day. Martin Luther King's birthday. How about you just treat everyone the fucking same the way they should be treated, not like a bunch of fucking douchebags that are out there running into Apple stores and shit. That shit ain't free. Go fucking work. Go run your Black Friday sale every week. You won't have to go break in an Apple window to go steal a fucking phone. A fucking phone? Or a pair of sneakers or a fucking jersey of some dumbass athlete who don't give a fuck about you? Think about that. How stupid. It's fucking idiotic. All that stuff. Labor Day. Let's one day a year. Let's talk about labor. Labor Day. Labor Day. About hard work. This country was built on hard work, on labor. That's how this country was was started. From suffering and working. How about every day's Labor Day, dumbass? Every day is fucking Labor Day. Bust your ass every day. Carry the fucking load on your shoulders every damn day. Work hard every day. Make shit hard every day. Seek hard shit every fucking day. Make every day Labor Day, Veterans Day. 
let's put a flag because uh, I put a flag on my Facebook profile that makes me a proud Amer- a, pr- a proud of my veterans. Proud of the veterans. I support all veterans. Sure you do. Sure you do. Because you put some shit on your fucking thing one day a year. How about just you support the fucking veterans every day? How about that shit? Not just when it's convenient or when it's cool. So then you can post some cool shit on fucking Facebook. Because you don't feel like posting another picture of your fucking duck lips or your fucking ass crack. So you put a picture of an American flag and happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans and this and that. But meanwhile, you probably talk shit about them anyway. How about you appreciate the fucking veterans that let you sit there and let you be that fucking Apple store breaking into motherfucker. They give you the freedom to break into a fucking Apple store. How about you appreciate the veterans for that shit? Thank them for that fucking iPod that you just jacked. Or them pair of sneakers that you're running around in. That costs more than your fucking car payment. That you jacked. Thank the veterans for giving you the freedom to fucking run around the streets like a fucking buffoon. That's what you should be doing. Same for Memorial Day. Even to the next level. The ones who fucking died. The ones who actually died for you to be acting like a little bitch on social media, bitching and crying and spending hours, hours and hours complaining and debating on fucking face diapers and presidents and riots and all this other shit. Meanwhile, then you'll complain that you're broke and anyone who's not broke was just lucky. But you have hours and hours for that. How about you take those hours and go do another fucking Black Friday sale? In the middle of February. How about that shit? Spend the time on that. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Okay, that's all I have to say about Valentine's Day. On to the next. Your anniversaries. Your wedding anniversaries. Whatever it is. How about you make every weekend your wedding anniversary? You make a, you set a, a, a day on the calendar where you're going to go out and make it an anniversary every fucking week. How about that? Yes, we skipped over Valentine's Day. Someone just said that. They said they missed a part on Valentine's Day. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Valentine's Day, red. Great color. Love the color of red. Same color as my Dodge pickup truck, red. Otherwise, this is the Valentine's Day clothes right here, right? Then let's talk about about your birthday. Let's talk about your birthday. And it's funny, I'm, I'm wearing this shirt. Ray Care, who was just watching this, Navy SEAL, Ray Care, gave me this at a birthday party. Not this year, last year. First of all, I don't like birthday parties. I only had one birthday party in my life. It was in the first grade, like until the last couple of years. In the first grade, I had one birthday party. I was allowed to invite one kid to the birthday party. One kid. He showed up. He's like, where's all the, where's all the other kids at for the party? I said, you're it, bro. That's it. You're it. The kid started crying, called his mother on the phone, had her come pick him up, and he went home. And he forgot to leave his gift. He had a gift there, and he was so fucking upset and crying, he left I didn't even get the gift. It was like some G.I. Joe character of a Marine, actually. A Marine G.I. Joe. What the hell was his name? Forget the Marine character's name in G.I. Joe. So, your birthday. And I got this, this shirt from Ray. And if you see, it says fucking awesome across it. How about you wake up every morning the second your feet hit the floor of your cave and you bump your head on the roof of your cave and you're walking around the second your feet hit the floor. You say, I'm going to make today fucking awesome. Today, I'm going to be fucking awesome. Tell them, today, I'm going to tell someone else that you are fucking awesome. How could your day not be awesome? How could you have a bad day when that's the mentality you have going into the day? Waking up thinking, today is going to be fucking awesome. And not just thinking, not just the motivational bullshit, but then going acting it out. Going and making it fucking awesome by not sitting around bitching and complaining. Halloween. Halloween. We finally get to dress up and put all these costumes on of who we really want to be. It's when the serial killers get to show their true colors. The fucking freaks get to be the freaks. The monsters, the clowns, the prostitutes, the pimps and hoes all get to be themselves and live them free, live their freak life finally without anyone judging them, even winning contests. For their best costume when it's just who they always wanted to be. How about you wake up every day? You take your freak flag. You stamp it in the fucking ground. You wave your freak banner in the air. And you say, this is me, motherfucker. It's going to be Halloween every fucking day. I'm going to wake up. It's going to be Halloween. I'm going to be my freak fucking self every day. I'm not going to give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. 
I'm going to march to the beat of my own fucking drum, do what makes me happy, not the rest of the world, not conforming to the rest. Who am I going to conform to? The whiners and the bitchers on social media? Who am I going to conform to? The fucking news? Fucking bullshit ass news? Politicians? Who are you going to conform to? Fuck that. Make every day Halloween. Let's, let's break it down to even a darker, deeper level. Easter or even Good Friday. Good Friday, right? The day Jesus was suffering. And some religious people won't eat that day or you know, fast that day or whatever. Everyone that does their own stuff in religion, whatever it is. But just think of Good Friday where they're suffering. Make every day fucking a day of suffering. Suffering is what makes you stronger. A little pain, a little suffering. No, no great level of success in any area of life is going to be achieved without a significant level of suffering, sacrifice, pain, and hardship. So when you think your day is so fucking bad, think about Good Friday. Whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. I don't really give a fuck. But a dude marching through the streets, fucking thorns on his head, getting nailed up to a thing with a sword stuck through his ribs for hours and days, however long it took. Make every day fucking Good Friday. Suffer every day. Embrace the fucking suffering. Search, seek the suffering, seek the struggle. Don't just, don't avoid it. Don't try to avoid it because you're never going to avoid it. It's going to hit you twice as fucking hard. Be standing and ready and prepared for battle. Get in your fighting stance. Be like, here I am, motherfucker. I'm ready for some suffering. Make me suffer. Search for it. Expect it. Accept it. Fucking embrace the suffering. That's what you need to think about it. And then Easter. How about every day? You make every fucking day Easter. A day where you wake up and you're reborn. Like it's a whole new life you're starting. Each day you wake up, you're a lucky motherfucker. Let me tell you that. A lucky motherfucker. So stop bitching and complaining. You're being reborn every fucking day. Wake up with that attitude that your death already happened and it's a new start. How are you going to live life now from starting today? Quit bitching and moaning about the past. Quit worrying and being having all this anxiety about what the fuck's going to happen in the future which you don't even know. Every day is Easter day. Every day you're being reborn or fucking rebirth. So you can attack the day. Make the day fucking awesome. Every single day. Make every day the day of discipline. Simple as that. Every day the day of discipline. You know my theme for the year is shut up. My word for the year is emulation. I'm going to be emulating what I want the people around me to be like. My kids especially. But emulation, I'm also going to emulate people who are ha- have successful traits that I also want to have. So it goes both ways. Both transmitting and receiving of emulation. And in the Marine Corps, when you first earn the title of becoming a Marine, you have to earn that title every single day. So earn the title of all these things, of, of, of what you are every day. Earn the title of a husband, of a father, of a leader, of a fucking man, of a human, of a fucking... In the, in the project, we call it a modern day night. You have to earn the title of modern day night every day. You have to earn the title of Marine every day. You need to earn the title of fucking American and fucking human every fucking day. That's the way you need to approach every day. Wake up every morning like you're being reborn again and up, attack the fucking day. Make it fucking awesome. Attack the day with discipline and energy and confidence, taking action, being your freak fucking self, emulating what you want to become. So think about that just all again. We went over so much, but just think about that. How to make this the best year ever. It's so simple. Make every day fucking New Year's where you set your resolutions. Make every day Christmas where you can't wait wait, wait to wake up the next morning. You just can't wait to go to sleep so you can wake up the next morning. Make every day Thanksgiving where you're grateful. Every day Mother's Day and Father's Day. Every day Black Friday where you go all out and attack your business the way you should. Every day Labor Day and Veterans Day and a Memorial Day where you're appreciating hard work. You're appreciating the military that gives you the freedom to do the shit you do every day. Valentine's Day? Yeah, sure. Appreci- appreciate the 4th of July that gives you the freedom again. Appreciate Halloween that allows you to be your freak self. Be, make every day Halloween. Make every day your birthday. Make every day a day of suffering. Good Friday. Make every day Easter. Make every day the fucking day of discipline. That's what you can tell yourself. Today's the day of discipline. The day of fucking discipline. And then earn that title of whatever, whoever it is you want to be that day. Earn that title 
every second of the day. Earn that title every day. And remind yourself that you are fucking awesome. And that's why this this shirt is perfect. Every day, remind yourself that you are fucking awesome. Because no one's going to tell it for you. So I'm going to tell you. Stop making excuses. Now, if you feel like you need a little help in living this way and having this type of mindset to have this structure and the way of approaching life this way, the project, if you're a man, the project might be for you. The project is a 75-hour personal development program for men where you're getting, it's literally a physical, mental, and emotional experience for men where you're getting a chance to live and train and learn with a United States Marine, a Navy SEAL, a SWAT officer, martial arts expert, and business empire builder so you can dominate in your family, your fitness, your finances, and your faith. Faith meaning your belief in yourself. Next one takes place in February, which is sold out. Right after that, we have one in April, which is already 75% sold out. So if you want information on that, just send me a message and I'll get you, I'll send you an application. You do need to apply. You have to be interviewed to be accepted. This is literally the highest level of personal development for men, not only in the country, but in the freaking world. If the project isn't going to be something for you and you need some help right now because the next class is not till April. You can sign up for one-on-one peak performance accountability coaching. It's called OTD, Operate to Dominate in Your Mind, Your Body, and Your Business, where I personally coach you one-on-one on a daily basis to help you dominate in all areas of life. And then for your daily fitness is Peak Physique, which is online seven days a week, live virtual training sessions, boot camp sessions, boxing sessions every single day where you have access to thousands of previous hours of of workouts and live sessions every day. Also recordings, new workouts, sent your email seven days a week. So those are all the options to help you right there between the project, the one-on-one private coaching, or the online virtual training. All those options are going to help you to live life and have this most dominant year ever that I'm talking about. Living every fucking day, earning the title every fucking day. Making every day New Year's and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter. You get the point. Now start doing it. Don't talk about motivation. Don't post a bunch of fucking cool quotes and then just sit on your ass eating your cheese doodles while you're watching some fucking Netflix series like Cobra Kai. Although Cobra Kai was a great series. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch Cobra Kai. What what was the new new school called? The the Dragons? No, Eagle Claw. No, Eagle Fang. The Eagle Fang school. Yes, we watched that whole season in like two days. But we earned that shit. Anyway, total side topic. So if you... Want any help, you need any information on any of that stuff between the project, private coaching, the online virtual bootcamp boxing session, send me a message below or just send me a private message. We'll jump on the phone. We'll see which program is the best fit for you. Any questions, comments, put them down below. I know Instagram, I, you can't see questions after it goes off. So I'm going to scroll through right now. If you have any questions, comments on Facebook, we got cut off earlier. Yes, John Luca from Italy was there. Just trying to go through. Every day should be Christmas. Ray Care was on there talking about the shirt. All right. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, need help with any of that, you want to get you want to schedule an interview call for the project or for private coaching or for online fitness training, send me a message. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. No excuses.